today. Today we are going to review Boom, Boom, Boom. He, oh, can't even see it. <laughs> Rosemary Swift's RMS Beauties uncover up cream foundation now if you're familiar with my channel you know i'm a big fan of rosemary swift and her just being the warrior towards cleaner more natural less poisonous ingredients in beauty products that's giz so super stoked to purchase her cream foundation i've already done a review on the concealer which can be used as a foundation red is toning down or my skin gets super red I turn to a lobster. Hmm. And that's the Uncover Up Concealer Foundation. And you can go here to click that icon, or I'll have it linked down below. I was stoked that she was making a foundation in general just for skin needs. So it says in the back, I'll read the back. This luxurious complexion loving foundation blends flawlessly into skin for a youthful dewy finish formulated with naturally antioxidant rich meadow foam seed oil and our signature hydrating bariti oil this creamy foundation allows for buildable coverage without weight so the formula is non-nano non-gmo soy free it's gluten free and it's cruelty free I ordered it from Credo. Things were wrapped really nicely and tightly and padded really well. It just took so long to get to me. But whatever, it happens, you know, some things aren't in our control. One thing I really do love about Credo, even though shipping took forever, um, is the fact that if you have a question, they will literally have someone on the floor of one of their stores that's open, of course, and answer your questions and show swatches. So what I did was I sent them a question via text. Basically, I have 44 in the concealer. Do I get the same shade in the foundation? But when I sent the question in, someone got a hold of me and I basically had a text exchange and she showed me videos of the swatches next to each other so I was curious about the ones around 44. She basically was like just stick with 44, stick with the number you had an uncover up. So I use the skin to skin brush. It's this brush, it's really cute. So I use it for applying the concealer under my eyes. I actually don't use the concealer for foundation a bunch because I just, I like it under my eyes in certain like spots. I just don't like a lot of stuff on my skin versus sunblock. Um, oh, and excuse me, sorry. I had gymnastics and we were doing like rolls and tumbling and I rubbed my shoulder raw. So, and it's kind of gross healing. So I didn't want to creep you guys out. I open this without ruining the box. So this will run to you about $52. So there are 16 shades. It's full coverage. It's supposed to be lightweight. It's supposed to be formulated with cold centrifuged coconut oil and a blend of herbs and oils. So the ingredients within the foundation is supposed to be hydrating and good for your skin and it's supposed to not irritate your skin. Some people do not respond well to coconut oil. I would test this out, keep the receipt, and make sure your skin does not have any reactions to it. So I'm gonna test it out for you today so you can see how it performs. But let us open it and let me see if I can open this up. So it's recycled packaging, so it's good. Very pretty, that frosted glass that she uses. And please, let's forgive my nails. They're abysmal right now, and uh, my nail lady is moving, and I don't know what to do. There are more pressing matters in the world. Oh, and when you see like bruises on my arms and <laughs> bandages, it's from working out. So I do pole, I do gymnastics, I do aerial arts, and when you're learning, you don't know how to distribute the appropriate amount of you know push pull your own weight so you're learning clumsily in the dark and you give yourself bruises as your nerves die so you can try and do a elbow hang <laughs> so i'm working on elbow hangs so it does come with this little metal spatula and it does have the rms if this is ever going to work and show but it has the it etched into the metal so it comes with a little spatula and i notice that the top is plastic which I like better because the tin tops are cute, but they don't age very well. 
don't like the noise of them, clickety clank, mm -hmm. and the super baby complaint is the sound. I just don't like that sound opening and closing mm -hmm. in. That's just All right. Oh my God, it looks like moose. This come with a little cemetery cover, which I always like. It looks like, it looks like you can eat this. Look at that. It looks like moose. Oh, I love moose. Oh, there's Giz. Oh, Giz thinks it's food. <laughs> No, honey, it's makeup. Go sit down. Go sit. Okay, all right. Good boy, lay down. All right. So it does look like moose. And look at that sheen. It's pretty. And I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm going to scoop a little out. So do that much. And see how that goes. I'm just going to put it back in my hand. All right. Sorry, my bandages are so gross. <laughs> but, you know. Okay, so I am... Dabbing it around. <sighs> this smells like olive oil. Yeah. So I only have like moisturizer on my face, but no, no makeup whatsoever. It is light feeling. I'm just taking it from the back of my hand. I'm glad I listened to the saleswoman and got my original concealer color 44. I'm, so I actually got more because I want to put it all over my face. So when I put it back in my hand, the spatula is super useful. And you can definitely use your hands to apply. I, of course, use this skin to skin brush. Yeah, like right when it hits your skin, it literally smells like olive oil. Huh. Put it all over. Buff it in. Put it down my neck. Can honestly say it reminds me of, besides olive oil, is the Drunk Elephant Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser, which I love. It's like similar, but it has that natural, not shy scent. And I'm always scared that it's too yellow on my skin. So I just have the foundation on and I do notice that it's very dewy. There's a shine. Foundation plays with light with the oils in the formulation. I like that. Actually, I do like that. I think once I put makeup on and let this kind of set on my skin, it'll look a little less. But see, it has that full coverage. It's supposed to look like this. I have a broken capillary, so we're going to try and cover that up a little more. I mean, look at it. It's just... Look how shiny that is. I mean, it smells like straight up. It's like mousse was made with a base of olive oil. Buff this in. Now, this does not have a built-in SPF, so please do not forget to wear your sunscreen when out and about. So here is the concealer and here's the foundation in number 44. And you see this, of course, this foundation it has more sheen. It just, it actually does feel good going on your skin. It's pretty light. Shade 44 in both the concealer as well as the foundation. Actually here, let me take some of the foundation and I'll just put it under my eyes just to see. So let's check this out in indoor lighting. All right, guys. So here it is in indoor lighting, and it's the only thing on my skin besides moisturizer. And it is full coverage, and it does have like, it plays with light, it has a sheen. And I need to get rid of that damn painter's tape right behind me. So now let's check this out in outdoor lighting. Though you can still see texture in my skin, it still has a nice natural uniform color with this foundation.
I have both the Uncover Up Concealer as well as the Uncover Up Cream Foundation. And as you can see, they're not identical. Number 44 is listed on the website as a medium honey with cool undertones. But when you actually see the colors next to each other in the concealer and foundation, I feel like the concealer actually has a little bit of warmth to it, and then the foundation has more cool tones. I do notice that they aren't identical, but they do both work well with my skin tone. My skin tone is like warm or neutral, depending on the season. So here's the foundation with makeup. <laughs> I just put Super Goop, the shimmer shade on my lid, a little bit of eyeliner right up here in my upper lash line, and then I have RMS Beauty's Lip Shine in Content, which is a classic berry red, on my cheeks and then on my lips. So we can see what the foundation looks like with makeup on warmed up. And of course, just did my eyebrows like real quick. So... I'm very excited about this foundation. Remember, it is oil-based. So if you have it on your fingers, please wash your hands because you're going to get that, you know, pigmented oil everywhere. But it is, it's not heavy. It's pretty light. And it's natural looking. And that's what I really enjoy. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna test this for the rest of the day. I'm testing it out over in Sausalito and it is so freaking hot, but as you can see, it's holding up fairly well. Well, we grabbed pizza and walked around downtown and then looked at a million dollar house that smelled not the greatest. It was mothball central in that overpriced real estate. This is me returning from Sausalito, and as you can see, it's been five hours. This is me showcasing it seven hours after application. The sunlight is coming through the window, and it's hitting directly on my skin. And then here's me with the frizziest hair possible, just about to wash my face. And as you can see, there is slippage, and it does fade throughout the day. I also noticed that at the end of the day before I wash my face, that the powder pigment base RMS Beauty is using, it does separate from the cream slash oil base. So you will have these areas in your face that looks like pigmented powder, basically a separation of the formula. It doesn't really bother me, but you can see it up close. So it's almost uh, patchy-esque. And then certain areas have more of an accumulation of the pigmentation in this formula. I put on more layers of the foundation to really see about the power of its full coverage. Uh, it's a creamy texture, but with an oil base. So you can see it has a lot of shine points on the face. So you're definitely gonna have to powder down the sheen. So basically the promise with this foundation is that it's healthier for your skin. I think using this foundation gives you a nice uniform kind of healthy color there is a sheen a shine a radiance to the formula the fact that she steers more towards clean ingredients and stuff that's nourishing for your skin i think that's fantastic i really like the products that rosemary swift brings out in rms beauty i love the hues i enjoy the formulations it for me it's a home run but if you don't like the smell of olive oil on your face it doesn't bother me so much but it does smell like olive oil. Um, I love olive oil, so I'm fine with it, but I just wanna let you guys know. Of course, there's no perfumes or anything like that, so it's a natural smell. I think the color is great. So this is a bit of an update. I have been trying this foundation out for a few weeks now, and what I do notice is when I go to wash my face at the end of the day, I will have little whiteheads on my forehead or at the side of my chin. So I just want to make you guys aware, if you have sensitive skin like me, please test this product out. Please keep the receipt. Make sure if it breaks you out, you can get your money back. Okay, thanks guys. I just want to let you know and give you guys an update. So let me know if you guys have any questions, leave them down below and I will be so excited to answer them. I hope you're all doing well. Have a
have a beautiful day, evening, whenever you're watching this. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell for notifications when I release a new video. Thanks again, guys. Bye.